hello guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so i have started this educational channel video or playlist whatever you guys like to say it for igcse economic students all over the world um so the main point of making this video is because i have plenty of time and i have to kill this time and get rid of my boredom anyways let's get started so let's see what is the first chapter of our course the nature of economic problems before starting the course we need to understand what is the meaning of the subject or what is the subject uh, has in itself what is economics the branch of knowledge concerned with production consumption and transfer of wealth um which this con mainly has production distribution and consumption as we go ahead with our course we will uh, understand this um, meaning bit by bit we are going to give our economics um, paper so that's why we are we have taken this board so yeah let's see what papers do we have in economics so we have two papers paper 1 and paper 2 so let's check paper 1 multiple choice question marks allotted are 30 marks and for time it's 45 minutes we get only 45 minutes to complete this paper um always use the elimination technique to get the correct answer this can be done by eliminating the most useless option then the least possible option and the unfit option according to the question and its situation um let's see paper 2 structured paper marks allotted to this paper is 90 marks and the time given to solve the paper is 2 hours and 15 minutes it has two sections case study for 30 marks and four part questions for 60 marks four part question needs to be explained so let's go for four part questions so there are four questions and we have to do only three from those four questions each for 20 marks so 20 into 3 60 four part question Uh, to four parts to one question there are four parts to one question so the first part is identify for two marks explain for four marks analyze for six marks discuss for eight marks so 2 plus 4 6 6 plus 6 12 12 plus 8 20 for the discuss part always always okay we have to include the for and against or compare and contrast points to achieve full marks or near uh, full marks um and this uh, type of question is really uh, tough so we need lots of practice so let's start with the first chapter the nature of economic problems and the first topic is scarcity it's not basically scarcity but we need to learn this in economic terms so scarcity is unlimited wants exceeding limited resources um for a more elaborate um answer we we can also write rate of wants increases more than the rate of production of the resources so i'm just going to take one example throughout this video is ice cream okay so if you are going to buy your most favorite ice cream in a shop and then you want 10 of them because you have guests guests over um but the shopkeeper has only 7 so basically there are unlimited wants not exactly but yeah there are wants exceeding the limited resources or the limited uh, goods so there is a scarcity of those ice cream it can be shown in in a diagram form or a ppc graph representation let's check the uh, diagram so there are unlimited wants and there are limited resources this can lead to an opportunity cost and um opportunity cost we will learn this in further videos um but um basically opportunity cost is the best alternative for gone let's check the ppc graph representation so the dot represents the scarcity in production possibility curve of the ppc uh, ppc will also be covered in further um, 
videos but i need to tell you the basic thing so a possibility production possibility curve is a curve that shows the maximum output of two types of products and the combination of those products that can be produced with existing resources and technology but over here we are not using our resources fully this curve shows that we are using our resources fully but then this point shows that we are not using it fully which means it is a scarcity in the market okay so we are done with scarcity now let's check um, the types of goods that we have so there are two types of good for now in further uh, videos we'll get to know about more types of uh, goods so there are two of them economic goods and free goods so let's check economic good so economic good uh, needs resources to be produced it has an opportunity cost as the resources can be used for some other good or something else so uh, like example your favorite ice cream or your favorite car so the milk used in the ice cream can also be used for something else like cheese or um, yogurt anything like like that so so economic good needs resources like for your ice cream the resource is milk for your favorite car it is um, the aluminium or whatever metal is used in it i don't know yeah so let's check the other one free goods so free goods does not need any resources to be produced and has no opportunity cost free does not mean that it is free of cost so the example is sunlight we don't need any resources for sunlight we don't need any resources for water so it, they are mostly natural substances or material and it has no opportunity cost um so we we can have this and this together or like we can have sunlight and water together we can because it is there and it cannot be excluded or we have to choose let's go ahead so i have decided to put some extra questions for you guys so that we can have a practice so there are two parts uh in this question which is a and b which is two marker and a four marker so let's read what's the first one it is what is meant by economic problem so economic problem is wait i need you guys to write this answer from the video and let's see do you get full marks or no i will wait for you just write it down okay fine Le now let's check uh the second question which is explain why car is an economic good you can write this answer down to i'll give you some time okay guys um if you need more time you can pause the video and write down the answer or write down the question now let's check the answer for the a part so economic problem is when wants are infinite and the resources are finite or limited so this one one shows that it is one mark for infinite uh, wants and one marks for limited finite resources if you write only scarcity then it won't give you two marks because it's asked for a meaning so we need to uh, give the meaning of the thing and not the term okay now let's check the b part 
Okay, so this says a car is an economic good because it uses resources to be produced and has an opportunity cost of making something else like a bike or anything else of a choice. So basically there are points in this which will give you a full four marks. So why it is an economic good because it uses resources to be produced. It has an opportunity cost and you can also make something else and give an example or you know I just leave it on you guys you can choose anything you want yeah so oh oh what does this say subscribe and like guys please subscribe and like just don't watch the video take notes and just just don't go away okay so I want you guys to just subscribe to my channel and like and I will be posting more videos so this was chapter one economic problem i will come back with the next topic really soon so bye guys meet you soon bye